Hey, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. First, I have a light out. I couldn't figure out why it's not working. So hopefully my lighting will be okay. And then it wouldn't connect. So I apologize for being a few minutes late. I wanna thank you for joining me. Hey everyone, I'm Kelly Wentworth. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Kennebunk, Maine. I appreciate you stopping by tonight. If you are joining, uh, please say hello so I know that you're there. And I'm just checking my other page to make sure I am where I'm supposed to be. And if you're new to my group, please say hello and let me know that you're new so we can welcome you and let us know where you're from. Hey, Lori. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? How's everyone? Lori, what happened to your Padres? Hey, Karen. Can you see me? Can you guys see me okay? Hopefully. Hopefully I'm showing up. Well, same thing's happening, Lori, with my red socks. So <laughs> I feel your pain. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie, how are you? Thank you for joining. Yay, everything seems to be working. Um, hopefully my lighting will be okay. I have a light out and I couldn't figure out before we started what, what's wrong with it. So um, I've been changing things around here in my little stamp studio. So God only knows what I did. I probably hit something. Maybe I pulled the wire out. I don't know. Karen, we can see you. Yes, the struggle is real. <laughs> so, Stephanie, where are you from? Are you new to my channel here, my group? We'd like to welcome you. Oh, a Red Sox fan. Yay. I know. You know what? I am a diehard Red Sox fan. I love them. Good, bad, or indifferent. I will say that um, after this past couple of weeks, I will say that they need to get it together. Sloppy baseball, errors, things that they are more than capable of handling. So that's a little frustrating, but you know, I'm always a, I'm always a Red Sox fan no matter what, even when they were in the cellar. I, I, they're my favorite, so. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, great. Thank you for coming back. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Hi, Ann. You made it. Yes, you did. Hi, Diane. Hopefully you're using your iPad and it's easier for you. Welcome. Yeah, Lori, it's, it's, I've been thinking about you. I know, it's so frustrating. Okay, so we're going to get started because I, I have been running a few minutes late. So hopefully everything is going to work tonight. Um, again, just a reminder that um, we have our celebration going on right now. And you get free, with every $50 you purchase, you get to pick a a product out of here or a hundred dollars there's fifty dollar levels and hundred dollar levels there's beautiful products in here um, I've already used this uh, glimmer paper this dazzling paper in one of my recent classes I used this last week oh my gosh so much fun this paper and it goes with the penguin bundle um, beautiful beautiful paper that you can cut out the animals and really add, like I did last week, to my cards. Um, we've got this paper, which I have not used this one yet, but I do have it. So with every $50 order, oh, this is gorgeous. So we have, um, a few weeks ago, I did the deer bundle, 
as my class and I used this paper it's stunning and the punch will um, work with this paper so you can actually use the punch to, to punch out the deer in this paper so I love how they are coordinating our celebration products with our mini catalog products and if you um, don't have a demonstrator and you don't have a catalog and you need one let me know I can certainly send one out to you I have some handy and um, and a celebration catalog as well beautiful beautiful set right here and really really beautiful products so um, again with every $50 or a hundred this one the Dahlia's is a hundred dollar level I have that but I haven't played with it yet but I've seen some beautiful cards made with this hi Kim how are you oh good for you Stephanie you go girl and um, also I just want to say that um, now is a great time if you want to be a discount shopper to join Stamping Up because not only do we have the best deal in our starter kit, um, spend $99 and get $125 worth of product, but you can also um, get um, a free paper pumpkin kit, you're going to get free shipping, you're going to get 20% off on your future um, orders and we have a special going on during celebration if you join you can pick up to uh, there's nine bundles that you can pick um, one of those bundles I think I have one let me see if I can find it here um, oh, it's not working okay um, I thought I loaded it but I guess I didn't um, but if you're interested in that so the bundles that are available are all out of the um, the mini catalog there are nine bundles in here that you can pick from in addition to all of this for $99 so if you're gonna place an order and you're getting around fifty sixty dollars it may be worth it for you to spend the ninety nine dollars and get um, and get all the extra benefits um, you don't have to do videos. You don't have to do classes. You can just be a discount shopper, get your products for, for a discount. Um, or just give it a whirl and give it a try. If you have questions, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Okay, let me get started here since I'm running late. Um, okay, so tonight I am working with a bundle. Now, there's... The dies I'm working with are called um, Encircled in Beauty. And these actually um, come with a bundle with a stamp set that's in the annual catalog. And I didn't, I do have it, but I don't have it out here on my desk. Um, but then in the um, mini holiday catalog, they came out with the Encircled in Warmth, with, which is more of a Christmas one to go with these dies. So I have all three of them. But I am using tonight um, the the dies with um, with this stamp set, and oh my gosh, I have to say I am really happy with how my um, my cards came out tonight. So I hope you like them as much as I do. Okay, first card. Hi, Laurie. How are you? Hey, Lisa. Thank you for joining, ladies. Okay, so let me see. That, this doesn't seem like things are working here. Hold on. You guys see me okay? Okay, there we go. I wasn't sure if I was seeing the comments. Okay, oops. Before I get started, um, I need to do a drawing. And so last week, the giveaway for sharing my video so please share my video um, all you do is hit the share button below and once you share it please comment shared so I know that you shared it and I do do a giveaway every week um, for those who, who share the video this just helps get my videos out there to get other people maybe that want to have some uh, paper crafting inspiration uh, maybe learn some new techniques because um, maybe they want to watch the videos as well and it just helps my little business out um, so last week I said I was giving away this beautiful foiled ribbon gold and it's 1 8 ribbon and the winner of that ribbon is Tracy Horton 
And I don't know that, is Tracy on tonight? I don't know that I saw her. Um, if she pops on, make sure you let her know that she won, um, she won the drawing. And I will have to uh, reach out to her because I'm not sure I have her, her address. Um, but congratulations to Tracy. Everybody's always so supportive of other people who win. And then this week... I am giving away three cards and envelopes from my stash. So if you want to have some cards, these are cards that I made. And three envelopes. The insides I left blank. So you can um, address them however you want or put any kind of a stamp on the inside. So if you share my video, and if you're watching on YouTube the replay, um, just make sure that you comment because I do look at comments and make sure you subscribe on the button on YouTube so that you get to see all my videos. So some really, some beautiful cards, three cards and envelopes um, to use or to um, have ideas on. That'll be the drawing for this week. Okay. Let's get started. So my first card tonight is this one. Can you see how beautiful it is? So I used some foil um, paper in one of our paper packs in the, um, in the catalog. And then I embossed the saying. And I'm going to show you how I made this card. And there's actually three layers, if you can see. It's very vanilla. And then I put another layer of vanilla. And then I did the DSP. And then I layered here. And then I put the beautiful ribbon. Isn't this pretty? And very easy to make. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm using very vanilla, like I said, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're gonna make sure that you score that for a good crease, okay? And if you are placing an order, this is my August host code. Um, here's my online store, Kelly Wentworth at stampinup.net. And here's the August host code. If you if your order is under $150, I would appreciate you using that. It just helps me out. And if not, if your order is over $150, do not use this code. Use it yourself so you get the hostess benefits, okay? So we are going to use another piece of Very Vanilla. And sometimes I like to do tone on tone like that. I just think it makes it look a little bit more elegant. And this seems to me like an elegant card. This is four by five and a quarter. And then the DSP is from the Simply Elegant paper pack. And this is three and three quarters by five. And so that's gonna go on there like that. So we can go ahead and start building our layers. Thank you for sharing, Ann. So this is gonna go on there like that. Isn't that paper pretty? Can you see the foil? Did Karen come back? She must be having some technical difficulties or something. And I'm actually going to, when I do tone on tone, I like to pop it up on dimensionals. I think it shows up more. So I am going to put, let me get my dimensionals out. I hope everybody is doing well. Today was such a beautiful day compared to the last few days that we've had. 
Now we have some nice weather ahead. Laurie, where are you from? I think I've seen you. You've been here before, right? So we can go ahead and put that on there like this and just center it. I just think that's so pretty. And do you see how that pops up more when you actually put it on dimension uh, dimensionals? I just think it shows more. Oh, that's right. You're here in Maine. That's right. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is I used, if you're going to put the card over here and make sure you can see what I'm doing. So I used these. These are paper lattice, um, like embellishments. And you can, and they, they're really cool. You get 10 in a pack. They're in the annual catalog under the extra supplies in the back. And what I did is I cut it down and I used one, two, three, four. I used five of the rows. So I'm going to cut that. Let me get my scissors. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cut on the outside of this one. And then there's a little piece on the end here that's small. We're going to cut that off as well. And that's all I did. Now, the other thing that I think I've showed you guys before, where this is kind of a little bit difficult to put your glue on. I mean, you could do dab and dab and dab. I'm going to use my silicone mat, and which is a staple in my craft room. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue down. And then I'm going to use my handy dandy sponge that I keep in my little cup here that I use over and over and over again. And then I just tap, tap, tap. like this and it's just now you could also use our adhesive sheets which I don't use them very often I do use them but this this technique works very well um, just putting the glue on it. and then I'm going to center that down here about there there's Karen is this better? Everything okay? I know it seems weird tonight, Karen. I'm having, like, I usually can see the video moving over here, but it's not, it's not for me for some reason. So I don't know if, finally. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then... So I'm going to put this over there. And then what I did is I cut, let me get that back out here for you. These dies are beautiful. There's so much that you can do with them. So I did this one right here. This one right here. And I cut it out um, in the gold, in our gold foil. Is that showing up okay? So we're going to use that, and then that is going to go on dimensionals. But before we do that, let's let's do some stamping, and let's do some embossing. So we are going to, is that showing up okay? can't tell how the lighting is here, but I'm trying to make up for the light because the other light is, you guys see okay? I hope so. Okay, so we are going to do some embossing, and 
I am going to get my stamp out. And this one is the Warm Wishes, um, Warm Christmas Wishes. It's a good size stamp. It's in the stamp set that goes with this. And we are going to get out the Versamark, okay, because we're going to need to emboss this. So we're going to get that out. Let's move that. There's a lot of skips in the video tonight. I wonder what's going on. Am I going to show you how to make that bow? Yes, Karen. Um, I'm going to show you how to make that bow. Okay, so hopefully this isn't too bad here. And we're going to use gold embossing powder. And so for anybody who maybe has not done embossing, this is a watermark ink. You, it's clear. You can't see it. But it's like a sticky ink, and you use embossing powders with it. So we're going to get that down. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to use my I forgot to use my embossing body, and it's right here. How many of you do that? Hopefully, we won't have anything sticking to it. Any pieces? Okay, so let's clean this up, get this out of the way, move this over, put this over here. Okay, so you can't really see it, but it is a watermark on there, and we are going to put some gold powder on that. Well, that didn't come out too bad. That doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Make sure we got it all. All right, I'm gonna use my little brush to get around the outside because I didn't use my embossing buddy. So I'm gonna have extra pieces. Oh crap. I hit it. Okay, we'll go with that. I'm going to put my cover on because I have my fan on, so I don't want a disaster over here. Okay, then you're going to hear my heat gun heat up here. And you're going to be able to see that melt. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one, Stephanie. I mean, when I was doing my samples, I remembered it. But see how it's melting? See it getting shiny? Once it starts, it goes really fast. It didn't come out too bad, even though I didn't use the embossing buddy. There we go. So if you look at this, you can see a couple of speckles if you look up close. That's because I didn't use my embossing buddy. It's static and it'll actually cling to it. But if you use your embossing buddy, it takes all the static out of the paper and um, it's better. So. Okay, and I'm using the two and a quarter punch, and I'm not even sure if this is still a... I've used my um, circle framelits as well, but we're going to do that. And we're going to put that over there. 
And that is actually going to go on here like this. Isn't that pretty? So let me get and just kind of center that. And then I popped it up on the center. And I'm going to use my... So I popped it up on the paper lattice. So as you can see, this really, for an elegant card, it is, um, it's not a hard, it's not very difficult. Oops. Is it staticky? Because I forgot to shut the sound off here. Let me do that. I just noticed it as an email came through. Oh my gosh. There we go. And then we're just going to center that right in there. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, and then we're going to use <clears throat> the ribbon. Let me see. And I'm using the Fine Art Ribbon. It is gorgeous. And I believe... I'm not sure. I think it's in the annual catalog. So, Karen, how I make my bows, I make my... Now, first of all, I'm just going to let you guys know. In my earlier days, years ago, I really struggled with my bows. And I'm going to tell you, practice makes perfect on making bows. Just don't give up on it. Keep doing it. It will get easier and easier. But what I find easier is I leave mine on the bolt of, of ribbon. I don't cut it off and th because I find I uh, waste less by doing that. So I'm just doing your typical, make your loop, your one loop. We're gonna put it around just like you would and just put it through there and then you're gonna pull it. Okay, and then what I do is Wait a minute. I'm going to do that again. So make your loop. Pull it through. And then just and then size it to the size that you want. So I like leaving it on the bolt for this re reason because then I can just kind of um you know, a lot of people put their fingers in there to kind of make the loops even, you know, just kind of fussy, fuss with it, as, you know, to see how you like it. Let me get my ribbon scissors here. And then what I do is I just literally, and then I'll kind of play with it some more. I like this ribbon because it's it's got a little bit of stiffness to it. So it kind of molds really nice. So you can do it on that side or that side, whatever side you want. And then I just used a, and I'm gonna need to trim this down a little bit more to make it even. And then I use a glue dot to put it on. And I just kind of put it like right underneath the saying. That didn't come out too bad. You guys struggle with your bows? <laughs> I like it because you can kind of just fuss with it. And like I said, it has a little bit. There you go. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? 
All right, so on the inside, what I did is I just used a strip of the paper. Let me see if I have it right here. Uh-oh, my little strip of paper is not here. All right, I'll do that after. But you can decorate this any way you want. I liked, um, on this one, I just liked using a little bit of the, um, just a strip of the DSP to match. And you can use it when you trim the, down the card, uh, the DSP. Don't throw away those scraps. A lot of times I use those on the inside. But isn't that pretty? All right. Wait till you see the next one. So... The next one, I did a little bit more layering, and I kind of got the inspiration for this one in the catalog. So if you look at the catalog, you will see this very similar. I, I changed a couple of things, um, but what do you think? Isn't that pretty? Now it's got lots of layers. So I have DSP on there. This is Smoky Slate. And um, I'm gonna show you the layers that I did on this one. So the inspiration, like I said, came out of the catalog. I changed a couple of things on it. So Smoky Slate, four and a quarter by 11, scored in half at five and a half. Okay. And then we have the DSP, which is from the Peaceful Place. This is in the mini holiday catalog that just came out. It's with the cabin paper. It's gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And if you can see, um, the stars are um, have sparkles in them. I don't know if that's showing up on camera or not. The backside's pretty too. But isn't that pretty? So that's going to go on the top. And then what I did is I used the dies now, in the mini catalog, let me show you. There is some beautiful foil paper. I think it's on the right here. Do any of you have this stamp set and dies? Okay, so right here on page 23, look at the silver foil. You get three different, you get a brushed, um, you get a brushed finish, a matte finish, and a mirrored finish, all in the silver tones. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And then this is the stamp set. And then this is the one that I kind of took the idea from and did a little bit of different, did, a, did it a little bit differently. They did a long, like almost like a slim line. Isn't this paper gorgeous? Love it. Love it. Now you only get three pieces. You get one of each in that specialty pack. So plan accordingly. But look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? So what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put the DSP on and we what I'm doing is I'm using this ribbon and this ribbon oh goodness help me what is this ribbon <clears throat> this is the glittered organdy ribbon remember we came out with a black one that's still in the book that has this, the um, glitter in it now they came out with a white one. Oh, it's so pretty. It's I love the black too, but this this the white is really pretty. 
So, um, so that's what I did is I just took a strip of this and you don't need it very long because what you want it to make it look like it's, it's a hanger. Okay. So what we're going to do is we, I'm going to do a glue dot to hold it down. Like that. And I'm going to kind of figure out like how long do I want it because I want it to go to make it look like a hanger. And then we're going to glue that to the back. And then there's your hanger. So that's what's going to go on this end. And let me get my pick. Yeah, the, I started playing with the paper and it's it's stunning. It's just gorgeous. And then just lay that down so it makes it look like it's the hanger for the make it look like a wreath is the intent there. Okay, so we can add that. center that so it's got the the sparkle in the snowflakes and it's got the sparkle in the organdy ribbon as well very very pretty okay now oh, I got a goober there okay now what we're going to do is we're going to layer up so I did this one in that silver paper foil paper then I did the next one which again is, let me show you. It's this one right here. Oh, it's the bigger one, hold on. This one right here. And I did that in, I don't know if you can tell, but I used that white shimmer paper that I, I used last week it was right on my desk, so I thought, I'm going to try that. And it really came out pretty. Okay. So, I am loving, loving these dies. Get this in there so I don't lose them. All right. So, we are going to, and again, I'm going to use that technique. with my mat because it's just easier to get it on there by doing it this way because of all the intricacy to the die okay and we're going to center that this over So pretty. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in that paper, but that shimmer paper. And then what I did is I cut the smaller one out of vellum. And that was to just give it a little bit of, see how that just kind of lays over that? Can you see that? Oh, that's a good shot. Can you see that? It makes it look almost like lace over it. And I used glue dots on this. And it's going to get covered up by the sentiment too, don't forget. Okay, and then I just kind of laid that down in the middle. Like that. And then I did the same thing that I did on the first card, only I used silver and I used the smallest die in that. And I just, I just, I already did it just to save time. But I did the let it snow. Isn't that pretty? See that? And we're just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of that and put that right down in the center. Is 
Isn't that pretty? I love the dimension to it. And then we're going to pop that up to give give it even more dimension. Let me get my... my gonna, I'm making a mess here. Hold on. My dimensionals. This is a pretty big die. So you probably want to put... that many. Do you like it, Karen? See, and it's really not a, a difficult card to make. And then on the inside, like I said, I do, um, I often use, when I trim down my DSP, I use the, the little strips to do on the inside. And before we put that on the inside that's gonna go there we are going to do some stamping and I put this this long one is in that set wishing you love joy and happiness this coming season uh, this coming year excuse me and that one I'm using the basic gray so I used the smoky slate cardstock but I wanted a little bit bolder Oops, look at that. My goodness. These things, I get them, they're all over the place when I get done stamping, I'm telling you. All right, let me wipe my hands before I smudge my card. Thank you, Cynthia. So no one has this this particular set. All right, let's try this again. And oh, actually, before I do that, I do want to put the little strip down so I know where to put my sentiment because it's a long sentiment, wide, I should say, and I'm using the horizontal. design for this card and then there's a little bit on the bottom so we're just going to cut that off and then that gives me an idea of where to put this here love the font on this one card back in. So I got pieces all over the place here. I love the colors of this one. Well, I love the gold one too, but I love the these colors. Um, I know it's not your traditional Christmas colors, but I just thought it was like really, really pretty. What do you think? Okay, I have one more if you guys want to hang with me. The last one is a quick one. 
Oh, I needed a drink. Hang on. You guys want me to do one more? What a mess I've made. Whew. Thank you, Stephanie. Can you guys hang with me for one more? Okay. This one's really pretty, too. Isn't that pretty? So on this one, I still have stuff on my fingers. Hang on. So this is Evening Evergreen, and I knew when I saw Evening Evergreen that this was going to be a really pretty one for Christmas. So this one is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, but instead of doing it the hot dog style they call, the up and down, we're going to do it this way and have it open this way, okay? And then I have soft succulent, four by five and a quarter, and we're gonna layer that, which goes really pretty with this evening evergreen. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add that. How many of you love these new in colors? I just think they're so pretty. There we go. Okay, then I used a piece of the DSP, and this is from the Tidings of Christmas. So this is a six by six paper pack, and it's called Tidings of Christmas, and I believe this one might be in the annual catalog. Don't forget that we have some Christmas stuff in the annual catalog. Um, I don't, re I, I don't quote me on this. Does anybody know that's on here? Hi, Vicki. So, um, but this paper is beautiful and it has uh, cherry cobbler, evening evergreen, misty moonlight, Sahara sand, soft succulent, and whisper white. So really pretty paper. Both sides are pretty. And I'm using, so I used this side for the base on top, and I'm gonna use this side for the tag, okay? So a lot of times you can just use the back side if, you, if you're using, um, oops, wait a minute here. I don't know if my glue came out, if my, all right, yeah. I think my tape runner ran out here. How are you, Vicki? That pretty paper, so luscious. So then what I did is I created a tag and that is using I don't know if you've seen these these are really awesome these are called tailor-made tag dies and they have two different designs kind of with a loopy on the top and then square on on this one and then you get different sizes then you have the elements if you wanted to use the little um, pieces that go around the the um, the notch there that's what those are for so, um, but love these. I just started playing with them. Thank you, Vicki. So I used the back side of this paper and cut out one of these, and that's gonna go here. And then you remember a few weeks ago, I used the uh, shimmer vellum that we have that has the new in colors. And this is in the annual catalog. I have used this paper a lot. And it has all the new in colors. And um, I love it. Um, I, I've, been, I've been using it quite a bit. 
And so I used the scallop uh, circle die as the base. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stamp the um, sentiment on vellum. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna do the same thing. Don't let me forget. I'm gonna use a little bit of my embossing buddy, even though I forgot the first time. And we're going to use Joyful Season. And we're going to use Evening Evergreen. So actually I'm not gonna use the, the I'm, used, I'm just going to do it on using the evening evergreen. Sorry, I was thinking I did it the same way as the other. So you don't have to use the Versamark. You can actually, I, I just did it this way. Did it straight on. Let me stand up and try to get it centered. Not too bad. You're gonna want to dry it, so I am gonna pull out, and I'm gonna use it on level one instead of level two, just to try to dry. Ooh, 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 ooh. Try to dry it a little bit so it doesn't smudge. So level one is for doing things like this if you want to just dry it. Level two is for actual embossing. And you can also do it from behind. And that works as well. Thank you, Vicki. I'll show the other ones that you missed at the end. We're almost done. I think that's pretty good. I just don't want to smudge it, that's all. Okay, I think that's good. Whoop. So level one is for drying, level two is for actual embossing. And I just love this shimmer paper look how pretty that is and again we're going to use our trusty glue dots so you want to put the glue dots where there's um what? words because they do show up through. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, hold on. It's, looks like I might have smudged it a little bit. Ooh, hang on. All right. Put another one. I'm doing okay, doing okay. Happy that there's gonna be some nice weather over the next few days before my grandchildren have to go back to school. I'm going to the beach, I'm gonna enjoy some time with them, so that's good. I did do it a little bit of a smudging on that one. And I also am going to use the ribbon. This is the Evening Evergreen Ribbon. And we're going to put that through there.
Oops, hang on. I want to double it. There we go. And then what I do is, so I put it through double, and then I bring those up in through the hole. Hopefully you can see that. And then pull it and that will make it stay. There you go. And then just trim it down. And then I just glued that down. And I kind of did it at a diagonal because this is uh, gonna open up on the right. And then we're gonna do this on dimensional. Just make sure if you do this that you give it a little bit more time to dry. I know I'm on camera, so I didn't want to hold you up, but um, it did smudge a little bit. I'll probably make another one. Yeah, they are beautiful. There you go. What do you think? Okay, so let me bring in everything so you can see. Vicki, you can see. Trying to clean up my mess here. Which one is your favorite? Oh, you know what? Before I get done, Karen has asked me, and I have it right here. Karen, I didn't forget you. You like them all? Thank you, Diane. So Karen has asked me to um, show her how to ink, re-ink stamp sets. Uh, stamp pads. So um, I was going to do this last week and forgot, and I actually need to re-ink my memento, but they all work the same. Okay. So whether it's this one or you take one like this, it's the same, same way. You take your re-inker. Okay. And this is how I do it. Let me get this out of the way. Karen, are you still with me? And you literally take your re-inker. This is what I do. And I go zigzag all the way down. And then I might go up around the sides. And it doesn't matter if you have um, a full ink pad, if you're using the Memento, or if you're using the little stamping spots, you're going to do it all the same way. You want to take your you want to take your ink reinker and you want to go across because you want to get the perimeter. You want to get it all. You want to get all of the stamp pad. And then I tend to uh, to make sure I get some on the edges. I will kind of go around, but I really focus more on just going back and forth because we use mostly. The center of them but you do want to make sure you're inking it all so I may do a little trip around the outside but you literally take your ink re-inker and it doesn't matter like I said if you're using the big big one here you're going to do the same thing you're just going to go across like this and you you know and you'll know when you need to re-ink because your your impressions are going to have a lighter touch to them if you're not getting a vibrant um stamp um you know impression when you stamp on your with your stamp pad you know when you stamp if you're not getting a vibrant um impression and the ink is vibrant then you you need to re-ink your stamp your stamp pads uh, they don't need to be re-inked frequently well some more than others i think it depends on which ones you use uh the most um but 
And as far as how much, Karen, you just want to make sure it's saturated going across, up and down. You literally probably only use, um, you know, you don't use a lot. You don't need a lot. And then what you want to do is you want to let it settle for a little bit and then try your try stamping with it. If it's vibrant enough, then you're fine. You've got you did it enough. Um, it's you know, the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. Um, but you don't need like you don't need to do a half a bottle. You know, you just need to do a little bit of the bottle. Uh, like look at this. I've been using this one for quite a while. And it's down, but you saw how much I used. I didn't I didn't use a, a lot. Um, and then let it set for a little bit. Let it sink into the, the pad. Um, remember, our pads, these pads are very juicy. Um, these, our new pads are very juicy. The old linen ones are not as juicy. So you may need to add more um, if you're using the old, sty uh, old style pads. But, um, you know, just give it a try. You know, you, it's, all, it's all in practice. Um, you can't do anything wrong if you put too much ink in. I, I, you know, I may have done that way at the beginning, and you, you know, you, you can see the ink like like coming out the sides of the the ink pad and all that. You know, I would start less is more, um, and then give it a give let it set for a little bit, and then try it and see how that how it comes out. Okay, I hope that helps. Give it a try. Let me know if you need any help or if you need um, a lesson on that. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my, my projects for tonight. I had a lot of fun making them. I thought they came out beautiful. Um, I love Christmas cards, my favorite time to craft. So I hope you are inspired to give it a try and I will see you all next week. Take care, have a good rest of the week. Bye-bye.